Hello, welcome to Evening Prayer on this Wednesday, the eighth week of Ordinary Time. Our, and it's also a memorial feast of St. Philip Neri, an apostle to Rome. It was uh, very, very, very much uh, in love with the Eucharistic presence of Christ. The uh, first reading today from our Mass uh, it's a beautiful prayer. The book of Sirach, like I might have mentioned to you, is a beautiful book. And today it's basically a prayer of thanksgiving and, and asking God to continue to bless, uh, bless us with his presence and his love and his wondrous powers and works of mercy and love. So it's a beautiful prayer. I would encourage you to, to look at that. Our gospel today, lengthy gospel, but... Uh, Bottom line is that uh, these two brothers, the uh, sons of thunder, as they were called, John and James. Um, now, in one of the other gospel accounts, it's their mother who does this, but here in Mark, it's uh, they themselves who approach Jesus and ask that they be seated at his right and at his left in his kingdom. And uh, he had to call all the disciples together and explain to them that if you're seeking elevation, you have to be humble yourself. You have to serve others. You have to be the servant or the slave to all if you want to be elevated. <clears throat> so we go against human nature and we think like God thinks and we tend to others and we care for others not because of our reward, but because it's the right thing to do. We care for others, we tend for others, we serve everyone. And when we do that, then God will elevate us on the last day. Let us pray our evening prayer in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, it's now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, how wonderful is your wisdom, so far beyond my understanding. O Lord, you search me and you know me. You know my resting and my rising. You discern my purpose from afar. You mark when I walk or lie down. All my ways lie open to you. Before ever a word is on my tongue, you know it, O Lord, through and through, behind and before you besiege me, your hand ever laid upon me. Too wonderful for me this knowledge, too high beyond my reach. O where can I go from your spirit? O where can I flee from your face? If I climb the heavens, you are there. If I lie in the grave, you are there. If I take the wings of the dawn and dwell at the sea's furthest end, even there your hand would lead me. Your right hand would hold me fast. If I say, let the darkness hide me, and the light, the light around me be night, even darkness is not dark for you, and the night is as clear as the day. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, how wonderful is your wisdom, so far beyond my understanding. I am the Lord, I search the mind and probe the heart. I give to each one as his deeds deserve. deserve. For it was you who created my being, knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you for the wonder of my being, for the wonders of all your creation. Already you knew my soul, my body held no secret from you. When I was being fashioned in secret and molded in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw all my actions. You, They were all of them written in your book. Every one of my days was decreed before one of them came into being. To me how mysterious your thoughts, the sum of them not to be numbered. If I count them, they are more than the sand. To finish, I must be eternal like you. 
Oh, search me, God, and know my heart. Oh, test me and know my thoughts. See that I follow not the wrong path and lead me in the path of life eternal. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You watch over heaven and earth, Lord Jesus. Your death brought light to the dead. Your resurrection gave joy to the saints. Your ascension made the angels rejoice. Your power exceeds all power. Lead us to life eternal and watch over us with your love. May your friends be filled with honor and join you in heaven. I am the Lord. I search the mind and probe the heart. I give to each one as his deeds deserve. Through him all things were made. He holds all creation together in himself. Let us give thanks to the Father for having made you worthy to share the lot of the saints in light. He rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved Son. Through him we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creatures. In him everything in heaven and on earth was created things visible and invisible. All were created through him. All were created for him. All he is before all else that is. In him everything continues in being. It is he who is head of the body, the church. He who is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead, so that primacy may be his in everything. It pleased God to make absolute fullness reside in him and by means of him to reconcile everything in his person, both on earth and in heavens. Make peace through the blood of his cross. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Through him all things were made. He holds all creation together in himself. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. To the elders among you, I, a fellow elder, a witness of Christ's sufferings and sharer in the glory that is to be revealed, make this appeal. God's flock is in your midst. Give it a shepherd's care. Watch over it willingly as God would have you do, not under constraint and not for shameful profit either but generously. Be examples to the flock, not lording it over those assigned to you, so that when the chief shepherd appears, you will win for yourselves the unfading crown of glory. This is a man who loved his brethren and never prayed for them. This is a man who loved his brethren and never prayed for them. He spent himself in their service and never prayed for them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. This is a man who loved his brethren and ever prayed for them. O Christ, Good Shepherd, I thank you for leading me to glory. I pray that the flock you have entrusted to my care will share with me in your glory forever. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O Christ, Good Shepherd, I thank you for leading me to glory. 
I pray that the flock you have entrusted to my care will share with me in your glory forever. Jesus Christ is worthy, worthy of all praise, for he was appointed high priest among men and their representative before God. We honor him, and in our weakness we pray. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. You marvelously illuminated your church through distinguished leaders and holy men and women. Let Christians rejoice always in such splendor. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. You forgave the sins of your people when their holy leaders, like Moses, sought your compassion. Through their intercession, continue to purify and sanctify your holy people. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. In the midst of their brothers and sisters, you anointed your holy ones and filled them with the Holy Spirit. Fill all the leaders of your people with the same Spirit. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. You yourself are the only visible possession of our holy pastors. Let none of them, one at the price of your blood, remain far from you. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. The shepherds of your church keep your flock from being snatched out of your hand. Through them you give your flock eternal life. Save those who have died, those for whom you gave up your life. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. Gathering our prayer and praises into one, let us offer the prayer that Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, you continually raise up your faithful to the glory of holiness. In your love, kindle in us the fire of the Holy Spirit, who so filled the heart of Philip Neri. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Great night. See you tomorrow.